Being a champion in the process. Oh, and being a champ, shoulders down. Just before three, the kick out for Liv Morgan. Being a champ brings something out of Sasha Banks. It always has. Sasha Banks has set herself as we take another look at the Meteora from the top rope. Connecting uh, Liv Morgan. She said, I want the challengers. We want the challengers to step up. We want to take these women's tag team titles to a new level. Beautiful. Liv Morgan, creative roll up. Shoulders down. Kick out from Sasha Banks. Morgan out of the way. Roll another up. Roll up. Oh, step up and Zagiri rocks Sasha Banks. Right to the ear, but right now no one on the apron, no tag to make. Rhea Ripley oh. just made it up in time to take the tag. A fresh Rhea Ripley teaming oh, up with Liv Morgan. This might be it. Has her down. One, two. Oh. oh, boy, was that close. Banks barely able to escape after what could best be described as an alley-oop into a powerbomb. Tremendous double team maneuver by Ripley and Morgan. And there's and more. Oh, this time, nobody home, just dropping Liv Morgan right on her back. Naomi taking, taking care of Ripley. Now Naomi on the apron. There's the tag from Sasha Banks. Naomi, the legal competitor, now some tandem offense from the champs. Liv Morgan stuck two on one. This is how they won the tag oh. team titles last night. Shoulders down, cover, a win for the champs! Here are your winners, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Naomi and Sasha Bang! It was all about communication, a little miscommunication between Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan on that last maneuver. It's all about how you respond, how you answer the call 24 hours after winning the Women's Tag Team Championship. And Sasha Banks and Naomi certainly proving they are game to hold on to those titles. I just hope for Naomi's sake, Sasha Banks feels like staying in a tag team this time. Oh, he's got shade for Sasha for you. So far, they're experiencing success, everything going right. Not shade when it's history, Saxton. Up. A frustration on the face of Rhea Ripley, understandably so. That's too nice of frustration for her. Disappointing finishing. Liv Morgan can't believe it. Rhea Ripley hasn't exactly had great luck oh, with right. tag team partners. Oh, well, someone who didn't have great luck at WrestleMania. Kevin Owens. Organized briefly with Ray Ripley. Well, his KO show didn't quite work out. How will he react to his Stone Cold Stunner on Monday? Back here on Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania, KO in the ring. All right. I may have made a mistake on Saturday night. In the main event of WrestleMania when I had Stone Cold Steve Austin as my guest on the Kevin Owens show. I unveiled my plan to trick him into one last match and, uh, well, I think I underestimated Steve a little bit because I'll admit it, the Texas Rattlesnake is still great. You have to be great to beat one of the greatest superstars in the history of WWE in Kevin Owens. Oh, you can boo all you want. That is the truth. I am one of the greatest to ever step foot in this ring. And when I tricked Steve in having his first match in 19 years, the truth is, I think I tricked myself a little bit too because I went into that match with a pretty bad back injury, okay? No, 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 I'm not lying. Watch the footage. Watch the way I walk down the ramp. Okay, you can't tell from my face because I'm as tough as they come, but I'm limping. You can tell. Because what happened is I was in the gym the day before. I was lifting weight, a lot of weight, and I hurt myself. The truth is, I probably should have just gone home. I shouldn't have even been there, but I knew the WWE Universe needed me to deliver them a great WrestleMania main event. So I sacrificed my health. I put myself at risk for all of you. 
And that means that as great as that was for Steve, that win should come with a, a, a clarification in the record books that it was obtained over someone that was nowhere near 100%. In fact, it should be stricken from the record altogether because if I was a... Thank goodness for... I know who this is. Oh, you do? You, he, may, he may look a little familiar. He, he may look like a person you recognize from the past, but it's not him. Wait, wait. It's just a... Hold on. Similar features. Is that... Is that a virus? No, it's absolutely not. It's like it to me. To the untrained eye, perhaps, maybe a little bit, but it's not. Oh no, Corey. I, I spoke to this guy earlier. We're talking about Elias. Elias? Is that you? Where what the hell are you doing? Where the hell have you been? You know what? In fact, the only question you need to answer is who the hell do you think you are interrupting me? This is my time. I am not Elias. I'm not Elias. I am Elias's younger brother. What? Told you. The name is Ezekiel. What? Well, what did you just say? You're not Elias. You're Ezekiel. You're no. I, I recognize those eyes. You're Elias. Okay. I am Elias's younger brother, Ezekiel. You know, <laughs> you know what? I know I got beers, beer in my eyes on Saturday, but I must have gotten beer in my ears because I could swear you keep saying your name is... It doesn't matter, but you're Elias. You're Elias, so stop the BS. Stop lying. I hate liars. Okay? Oh, you hate liars? Well, then you must hate yourself. Because on Saturday night, you lied to Stone Cold, and you got stunned. You know what? I don't like you. used to like you and now I don't you know what that's a lie I never liked you and now I like you even less so Elias Eric Enrique whatever the hell you want to call yourself the only thing that matters is that you know that I'm telling you the truth right here right now when I say you have about 10 seconds to get the hell out of my ring or else 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Kevin Owens didn't say what was going to happen or else it well, left the ring. I, I still don't understand. Is that Elias or Ezekiel? What? It's very clearly not Elias, Saxton. It's Ezekiel. Well, KO did not get the WrestleMania moment he wanted, but someone who did last year is our own Bad Bunny. I'm going to send a shout-out and big-time congratulations to Bad Bunny, the winner for Best Musica Urbana Album at the Grammy Awards last night. A proud member of the WWE family. And guys, I got a great idea. Maybe Bad Bunny can collaborate with Ezekiel's brother. Oh that could be spectacular. Oh. Must be really tired of it.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing.